Good morning po. Good morning to everyone. Good morning. Uh, good morning Lord. Uh, and also good morning po sa lahat ng nanonood sa atin live online worship service. Um, have a blessed Friday po to all. And we start po for opening prayer. May I call on uh, Brother Jojo. Basta po mga kapatid at uh, tayo muli para bigyan natin ng lugod, papuri ang Diyos. Sabahin ang Diyos sa oras ito. Nais ko sanang ihanda natin lahat ng ating sarili uh, at ituon natin ang ating uh, mga isip, puso at kaluluwa sa Panginoon. Nalala ko bago tayo magsimula, meron sinabi dito sa Philippians, uh, Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 bago tayo manalami. Sa wikang Tagalog, huwag kayong mabalisa sa anumang bagay, kundi sa lahat ng mga bagay sa pamamagitan ng pananalangin at daing na may pasasalamat ay ipakilala din nyo ang inyong mga kahilingan sa Diyos. Siguro marami tayong mga nagbab nababalisa sa ating mga buhay, malaking mga bagay na nagbibigay kabalisahan sa atin. No? Patulad ng siguro itong COVID na to isa to o sa iba sa financial o sa trabaho sa work o sa marami pang bagay sa love life o sa iba pang mga bagay sa mga upa sa rent ay uh, dumarating itong mga kabilisahan no pero sabi ng Panginoon pag dumarating ang mga bagay na kabilisahan sa atin sabi niya kundi sa lahat ng mga bagay sa pamagitan ng panalangin at daing na may pasasalamat tais nating Una, ang, ang turo ni Apostol Pablo, una, pag dumating itong mga kabilisahan sa atin, no? mga kababagan sa atin, society, una manalangin tayo sa Panginoon na may pasasalamat. Yun ang uh, sinabi ni Pablo. At ang sabi niya rito, ipakilala ninyo ang inyong mga kahilingan sa Diyos. Ibig sabihin, nais ng Diyos na ipakilala natin sa Kanya anong mga bagay ito. Anong mga bagay na daladala natin sa buhay, Ano mga problema, ano mga uh, nagbibigay kabilisahan sa atin. Nais nice natin, gusto ng Diyos, nais nice ng Diyos na ipakilala natin sa Kanya. At una, kailangan natin manalangin sa Panginoon ng may pasasalamat. Nawa ay uh, pagpalay tayo ng Panginoon, tayo na tayo yumukat manalangin sa Panginoon. Takilang Diyos kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa oras ito. Turuan mo kami sa ano mga buhay. Pag dumarating sa amin ng problema, Una sa lahat, turuan mo kaming manalangin, Panginoon. Alam namin, hindi namin ito magagawa kung wala ka sa amin. At alam namin ang Santong Espiritu mo, ang siyang kikilos para turuan kami sa lahat ng aming hakbang, gagawin. Hayaan mo sa umagang ito, maitaas ka namin. At ang mga bagay na nakita mo sa amin sa mga nakarang araw, ito po, Panginoon, ay nagdulot para kami ay hindi makalapit sa iyo. Nais ko po sana ang dalangin namin na patawarin kami at kami po ay nagpapakumbaba sa mga sarili at ano mga karumihan na nakita mo kasalanan namin nagawa, wag ka magalit po sa amin patawarin niyo po kami Panginoon katayaan niyo po sa oras na to pabigay namin ang pasasalamat at ano mga aming hiling sa iyo ipinakikilala po namin sa inyo mga bagay na ito kayo po ang nakakaalam turuan niyo po kami ng aming mga gagawin at sasabihin hayaan niyo Panginoon sa oras na to mapapurihan ka namin maparangalad ka sa mga buhay may taas ka Madakila ka, Panginoon, at maluwalahati ka sa oras na ito. Pinataas ka namin ng may pagpupuri at pasasalam. Sa iyo po ang lahat ng kapurihan. Haya mong santong ispirito mo ay kumilos at hayaan, Panginoon, sa oras to. Ikaw po, Panginoon, ang magbigay ng kaunawaan, mga bagay na nais mong Panginoon, upang kaming lahat, Panginoon, ang aming mga kaluluwa, ang aming mga kalusugan, ang aming mga pananampalatay, haya ang makakilos ng may pasasalamat, kagalakan sa iyo, at hayaan, Panginoon, sa oras to. Ang lahat ng mga bagay ay may taas sa paparangal sa iyo. Ang aming mga pasalamat, ang mga puso, ang aming mga daig, Panginoon. Salamat ng marami, tinataas ka namin. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, ito po ang aming dalangin. At ito po ang lahat na pangailangan sa oras to. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, ang lahat ay magsabing Amen. Amen. Um, thank you, Pastor. 
thank you, Brother Jojo, for the opening prayer. Uh, let's proceed. Uh, um, magpapasalamat muna po ako sa Panginoon dahil um, uh, muli po akong nakatayo para sa gawain niya. Uh, kahit na medyo sabado po. <laughs> Ayun po. Um, salamat sa, sa Lord dahil um, sa pagkakataon na binigay niya po sa akin. And um, nawa po ay mabless po ang lahat ng makapakinig ng ating message na galing po sa ating preacher. Our God servant of the day, si Pastor Ray Gapos po ang ating pong preacher. And then opening prayer, Brother Jojo Velasquez and worship leader, Brother Norman Jimenez. And see tithes and offering and scripture reading, yours truly. Praise and worship, Agape Worship Team. To God be the glory. natin na na nagtitiwala tayo sa sa maliit na nahalaga na maibibigay natin na pagbalik naman it's is sober bless po tayo di ba po na ibibless tayo na uh, we are blessed po sa ating trabaho po sa ating pamilya sa ating friend ayan po um kaya po um i Magtiwala po tayo sa Panginoon, ibigay po natin sa Kanya po yung nararapat po na para po sa Kanya. Ayan lang po, maraming maraming pong salamat. To God be the glory po. Ayan po, uh, makikita po sa sa monitor yung mga number and makipag-coordinate po with the respective admins po. Kung sa mga online na nanonood po. Salamat po. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa araw na ito. Uh, dalangin nga po namin, Panginoong Jesus. 
Jesus na ang amin pong maligikom na pera ay Lord uh, magamit po sa templo at ikalalago ng gawain mo Lord God. Lord, am um, turuan mo po ang amin pong mga puso Panginoon na maging tapat sa pagbabalik ka loob sa iyo dahil na ikaw po ay tapat sa amin Panginoon. Salamat po sa pagpapalang iyo pong ipinagkaloob Lord God. Uh, dalangin nga po namin patuloy mo pong idaloy ang pagpapala sa bawat isa sa mga nagnanais magbigay Panginoon na walang trabaho Lord God. Pagpalain mo po sila paranas mo po ang masaganang pagpapala mo Lord sa buhay nila Lord God. At Lord uh, maraming marami pong salamat sa iyo nga po namin ibinabalik ang lahat ng papurit pagsamba sa tanging pangalan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo Amen. Good morning po. Blessed morning po sa lahat. It's okay po, you may sit down. Kamusta po ang lahat? Nakakatawa naman po na ang dami natin ngayon dito na nagkakasama-sama uh, despite of all the, yun nga, yung restrictions, yung mga uh, situation. Uh, gusto ko po kayong kamustahin. Uh, mag ano tayo self check tayo ngayon how how am i ba kamusta kayo kamusta ako <laughs> god's grace ano po uh, somehow we still uh, manages na uh, uh, maka move forward to continue with our daily lives marami sa atin despite of the smiles maraming pinagdadaanan ano Uh, setting aside yung, yung mga Judith natin na nakakata horror story. <laughs> Marami sa atin siguro, no? Yung iniisip natin, how's our family ba? Uh, yung, yung feeling na mag-isa ka dito, na, na homesick ka, tapos ang isip mo nasa Pilipinas, tapos you have to think as well yung uh, yung sa trabaho, ang daming, uh, alam ko ngayon na medyo nag adjust sa work, Kasi maraming uh, yung na layoff sa company. So yung ibang work na lipat na sa iyo na yung dati mong trabaho noon, pang dalawa, pat- pang tatlong tao na, and yet yung sahod mo, ganun pa rin. You have to spend uh, uh, more than 8 hours of work, 12 hours, 16 hours, just to cover up yung load na dating binibigay ng mas maraming tao. Ako po, uh, uh, personally na... Uh, na-experience ko yung mga ganong bagay, ano, na mabigat, pero somehow, God sustains me. God provides everything that that I need, that my family needs. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Ayun, ayaw akong umiyak, pero... <laughs> uh, iniisip ko na lang lagi na God is always there. And... Wait lang. <laughs> na gaano kahirap ang situation, lagi siyang nadyan, nakagabay sa atin. Nakaalalay. Ayun, gusto ko sana mag-share ng verse. <laughs> Sige nga po, ayan. Uh, ito pang verse na to, it's from uh, the uh, book of uh, First John, chapter 4. Uh, isinulat po ito ni ano ni uh, John uh, the beloved Dear friends let us love one another for love comes from God everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God whoever does not love does not know God because God is love So Sa mga pinagdadaan natin sa buhay, lagi nating isipin na my God is love. Hindi <laughs> niya tayo pababayaan. He will never forsake us. Lagi siyang nandyan para sa atin. Yung popular verse na John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave us His only begotten Son. That whoever believes in his sin shall not perish and will have eternal life. 
instill po natin sa puso at isipan natin yun. Na si God ang unang nagmahal sa atin. Ano ba naman yung mga maliliit na problema na yan? My God is love. My God is greater, greater than any circumstances, than any problems. Yeah. Let us all rise po. Sama-sama po nating uh, i-remind ang ating mga sarili. Papurihan ang Panginoon. Pasalamatan. And remind ourselves how great our God is. How great Lord's love for us is. This love, oh, it's moving all my mountains. It's perfect love, it's casting out my fears. How great this love! Oh, it welcomes me like family, and anywhere I go. It meets me there. Let's sing it again. How great is love. Oh, it's moving all my mountains. It's perfect love. It's casting out my fear. How great is love. Oh, it welcomes me like family. And anywhere I go, it meets me there. Cause He is good, He is God. What I earned is not what I got. And He is just, yet also Kind. What I deserve is not what I find. What more could I say about Him? My God is love. Na nga po na napakasarap ng feeling. Let us always claim and proclaim how great the love of the Lord is para sa atin. How great is love Oh, it's faithful through my failures It's trusting love It's with me till the end How great is love Oh, it's closer than a brother Oh, this is love he died so I could live Cause He is good And He is God What I earned Is not what I got And He is just Yet all so kind What I deserve is not what I find What more could I say about Him My God is love Sa lahat po ng circumstances natin sa buhay Lagi lang po natin isipin that God is always there He's always standing beside us He, will, he always carries us sa lahat ng mga situation Lagi po natin isipin na God is love. And I know my God is love. And I know my God is love. Yes. This Amen, is Lord. enough Amen. to know my God is love. And I 
know my God is love, and I know my God is love. This is enough to know. Is love. What more could I say about him? My God is love. Amen. Praise the Lord God. Crown of 
thorns. You became my king forever. One way, Jesus, you're the only one that I could live for. One way, Jesus, you're the only one. That I could leave. Let's have a call. One way, Jesus. Jesus. One. You're the only one that I could leave for. One way. One way. Jesus. Jesus. You're the only one that I could leave for. Oh, I could leave for. nung one way. Amen, no? Kasi sobrang ganda po kasi nitong song na to, eh. Sabi kasi dito is, You are the way, the truth, and the life. And we will live by faith, not by sight for you. Amen. We are living for Him, no? Only for Him. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Okay, po. Amen. One, two, three, go. You are the way, the truth, and the life. We live by faith and not by sight for you. We live in all for you. Amen. You are the way, the truth, and the life. We live by faith and not by sight for you. We're living all for you. You are the way, the truth, and the life. We live by faith and not by sight for you. Sabi niya, kamusta tayo? Kamusta ka? And habang binabasa ko kasi itong verse na to, iniisip ko yung kamusta ba yung heart natin na mag-worship sa ating Panginoon Diyos? Kasi ba diba, ang dami na naranasan, ang dami na natin pagsubok. And Uh, knowing na, syempre, may ano tayo, uh, lahat tayo workers din dito sa church na to. Sobrang busy natin. Busy tayo masyado sa pag-aaskaso nung sa recording. Busy tayo sa pag-aayos nung mga ano. Busy tayo sa pagpa-practice. Busy, busy, busy yung mga music team sa ano. Pero, ano ba yung heart natin sa pag-worship natin sa ating Panginoon Diyos? Ano ba yung puso natin na pupunta ka lang ba dito kasi nakaschedule ka? Pupunta ka dito kasi uh, dahil lang sinabi ng church na ito yung gagawin mo, ganito. And ngayong araw na to, wag nating isipin na ito na yung usual Friday na ginagawa natin. Aaten tayo, pero yung hindi natin talaga totally nararamdaman or hindi natin nafe-feel yung, yung heart yung 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 talagang gusto nating ibigay lahat sa ating Panginoon Diyos. Yung gusto nating sabihin lahat sa kanya, yung mga nararanasan natin or yung yung magsumbong tayo sa ating Panginoon, lumapit tayo sa kanya. 
Sabi dito sa Romans 12.1, Therefore, I urge you, brother and sister, in a view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Sabi dun sa, sa et, et, iba po yung, ber, uh, mini, I mean, iba po yung version po nito. Pero sabi po dun sa, sa ESB, sabi dun, Therefore, I plead to you, brother and sister, Sabi po doon, I, bl- I plead to you, brother and sister, by the grace of God, present your, uh, present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and accepted by the God, to God, accepted to God, which is your spiritual worship. spiritual worship. And sabi din dun, di ba po sabi dun, pag nag-worship tayo, di ba, sabi po dun sa John 4.24, God is spirit, and His worshiper must, spirit, um, must worship Him in spirit and truth. No? Yung, yung totoong worship, yung, sinasabi mo sa Panginoon, Lord, nandito ako, ino-offer ko lahat, Kasi sabi, offer your body. O, offer your body as a living sacrifice. Kasi yung, yung parang yung sarili natin, di ba, yung physical natin, sobrang drain na, drain na, drain na sa lahat ng mga nangyayari. I-offer natin yung lahat sa Kanya. Ngayon, kalimutan muna natin lahat. Kalimutan muna natin yung mga iniisip natin. Kalimutan muna natin yung, yung kung iniisip man tayo na maglalaro later, later, ma- mamaya na yun. Kung baga, isipin muna natin na ito yung time na makapag-communicate tayo sa ating Panginoon Diyos. Na makausap natin siya. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let's give ourselves to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Keep myself away. I keep myself away so you can use me. Keep myself away. I keep myself away so you. Can you use me? I give myself away. Myself away. I give myself away. So you can use me. I give myself away. Yes, Lord God, I need Jesus. I give myself away. So you. I give myself away. I give myself away. So you can use me. I give myself away. I give myself away. So you. Can use me, give myself away. Mr. God, I learned this is. I give myself away, so you can use me. Here I am, here I stand, Lord. My Give 
sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. stand po para po sa ating pag scripture reading uh, our scripture reading for today is from the book of James chapter 3 verse 1 to 12 verse 1 not many of of you should become teachers my fellow believers because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. Verse 2, We all stumble in many ways. Anyone who never fall in what say is perfect, able to keep their whole body in check. Verse 3, When we put bits into the mouth of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animals. Verse 4, or take sheep as an example, although they are so large and drive driven stronger winds, they steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Verse 5. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great bows. Consider what's a great forest is set on fire by small spark. Verse 6, the tongue also is fire, a world of evil among the part of the body. It's corrupt the whole body, the set who course one life on fire, and it itself set on fire by hell. Verse 7, all kind of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and having tamed by mankind. Verse 8, But no human being can tame the tongue. It does evil 
full of deadly poison. Verse 9. With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and, we, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Verse 10. Out of the same mouth came praise and cursing, my brothers and sisters, this should not be. Verse 11. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same stream? Verse 12. My brother and sister, can we drip olives or grapes bind beer pits? Neither salt spring produce fresh water. To God be the glory. Good morning. Good afternoon na pala. Hindi ba lubog, Ate MJ? Hindi naman lubog na. Hindi, baka kakakoy na. Binalikan ko lang. Gumanti lang. Okay. Siguro din yung maliit yung computer niya para di daw lubog. Amen. Hindi, siguro sa akin yun kasi alam nyo naman, lubog eh. Amen. So, Mapagpalang uh, uh, araw sa lahat and uh, we are uh, we will start now with our uh, ayan wala uh, may ginagawa si sister ano <laughs> ayun wala sorry ayan ayan okay so we will start uh, sa ating uh, pakikinig ng salita okay. before we begin let us uh, all stand and let us pray in in prayer. Our Father in heaven, we thank you uh, for the opportunity once again this day that uh, you allow us to come here and hear your word, to praise you, to give thanks to you, and to pray for you, to you, Father. Father, we want to ask your guidance and uh, your uh, spiritual blessing. We pray that the Holy Spirit work in our heart. Let the Holy Spirit open our heart and our mind to see your word, to learn from your word. And let us uh, listen to your word, apply it to our life. Guide me, Father, uh, when I bring your word to our uh, brethren. Give me uh, your wisdom, your knowledge, and boldness to proclaim your word. This we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Tapi makakaupo na. So there is one question regarding how cruel is the spread of the word if it is not true? O, gano ito ka, ka lupit o, na makatanggap tayo ng mga balita or yung mga, yung mga nababasa natin sometimes in social media. No? So, fake news, ayan. Or uh, gossip. Okay. Yeah, we, we live in a generation where we won't recognize gossip and uh, fake news. Parang wala ng pagkakaiba, no? Uh, but the re uh, one real thing that is same for both is they are not true. Okay. Yun lang ang uh, sigurado doon. Okay. And it is like a uh, disease that destroy and consume life. Families, uh, naapektuhan yan, communities, the whole nation or the whole world. Okay. What do you think is the cause and effect of this unpleasant word? Or perhaps pleasant but untrue words uh, spreading around. 
sigurado may pinanggalingan ito. And this is our um, um, what we will going to uh, see from the book of James. Okay? So these words can be any news, story, hopes that uh, misinform uh, people or mislead the recipient. So today, the spread is so fast through, alam nyo na, mga, lo, uh, mga, mga, ano, mga apps, no? yung mga social media apps, nandiyan yung mga Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and even the Google. Sometimes pag nag-type ka, uh, may hinahanap ka, sometimes it's different. No? Ma, ma, Masessions mo, parang iba sinasabi nito. No? Lalo na sa, sa, if you go to Wikipedia, ayan. Yung Wikipedia pala, kung sino lang may gusto magsulat doon, ano? Kaya, kung mali ang sinulat mo, maling information, and then, mali rin yung mai-relay mo. Okay? So, and this is uh, not new. Hindi bago to. Noong palang unang panahon, it has already happened in the first century Christianity, which the apostles need to address or to discuss. Okay? Especially if it affects the gospel and the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yan yung mga nababasa natin. There is false teachers, false teaching, no? na sinasabi ng mga apostles na maging uh, aware tayo. So God inspired James to provide us with certain teaching about Christian life. Okay? That's the book of James. Okay? With special emphasis on uh, yung, yung dis- let's discuss uh, the 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 no no the yung few weeks na inano natin na dinis natin to so it emphasis on uh, patiently enduring trials no sa, sa chapter 1 nakita natin to steadfastly steadfastly seeking God's wisdom okay? and consistently putting faith into action by doing what is right and abstaining what is wrong his message is uh, practical dealing with issue of daily life such as relation to others especially the uh, we discussed no about the wealthy people okay and helping person in need so the major doctrinal contribution of James deals with the relation of faith and work Yan yung mga, especially last preaching, no? I discussed this, uh, this, this topic, faith and work. Okay? And the letter clarifies the meaning of the two terms. Yung uh, salvation, at ang turo ni James, is a gift from God received by grace through faith. Okay? A person cannot be saved by work. Though, sabi niya, uh, uh, inano niya, no? inakampanin niya yung work sa faith. Yet, a person who is genuinely saved will demonstrate his or her faith by works of love and ministry. So, James highlighted faith and work in a way to give added insight into Paul's more elaborated discussion in his letter. Ayan, naririnig natin yan sa book of Galatians, book of uh, uh, Philippians sa book of Colossians. No? Yan yung mga topic ng ibang pastors natin. So, Paul is a missionary evangelist. Okay? He stressed that grace and faith, not the law and work, bring salvation. Okay? Doon siya nag-concentrate. But, 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 but kay, kay James, as a pastor teacher, he emphasized that Christ, Christian life is a blend of faith and work. That uh, genuine salvation result in ministry and morality. Churches today must listen to and teach the doctrines presented to James. Okay. Many of the false beliefs and practices common in the first century are still found today. Nakikita natin yan. Okay. Maraming teaching, maraming, maraming, maraming uh, beliefs, uh, meron dyang uh, easy believism, sabihin na uh, ganito lang kadali ang, uh, ang uh, mag, ano, uh, mag, mag, maging, uh, maging uh, safe. No? So, uh, and this, uh, this uh, because of this false uh, teaching, 
uh, maraming maraming mga ano, maraming mga pagkakamali sa church. Okay, for example, some people come to Christ looking for success. Yun ang inisip lang. If I join them, I I I, I will be uh, uh, magiging matanggo pa ako. Uh, wealthy. And some, they are looking for power and authority. Huh? Ginagamit nila ang church. So, others come expecting freedom from troubles. Hindi freedom from sin. No? Freedom from troubles. Kasi they are on a situation na gusto nilang takasal. Okay, if, maybe if I join church, no? if I accept Christ, okay. Uh, ganun na mangyayari. Uh, I can escape in these situations. So in contrast, James warned about the danger of wealth and he promised no easy life for believers in Christ. That is what we learned. So James' message was not low-spirited or unfavorable. Uh, pag binasa nyo, parang uh, puro uh, yung uh, hindi, naka, hindi nakapabor sa Christian. No? But he spoke of the possibility of joy in the midst of trials. So, currently, some people proclaim a false gospel or false teaching, calling for beliefs without corresponding behavior. So, churches ought to teach the whole counsel of God, not just a part. Kapag ka tayo ya na nag 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 uh, share ng word dapat whole council of God and proclaim all of the Bible no? not just selected portion so this is the the, the the common things na nakikita natin sa iba they will just get a, a small text small verse expound without looking for the whole context so James addressed this issue yung mga false teaching na naririnig niya uh, so point to the root. Ano ba yung saan ba galing to? Okay. And our title, The Dangerous Use of the Tongue. Na? Katulad ng binasa natin, we speak about tongues. Okay. So ano ba nandito? Ano ba ang nasa what is behind this tongue? Okay. So Teaching is a big responsibility. We start with that. Verse 1 to 2. So, not many of you should become teachers, my fellow believers. Sabi nga ron, Because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. We all stumble in many ways. Anyone who is never at fault in what they say is perfect. Able to keep their whole body in check. So clearly, the church in which James wrote had many appointed teachers. No? Ganun na agad ang may isip natin kasi yun ang address niya. Which is true naman kasi. Okay? When we become believers, when we become when we become a, when we become a follower of Christ, we are already a teachers of the gospel. Bakit? We share. When they when we share, they will ask. Tama? So we will teach them. We will tell them what is right and wrong about the gospel. And that is our our mandate from our Lord Jesus Christ. Sabi niya, uh, go ye and make disciples. Tama? So when you make disciples, you have to teach them. So we are all teachers. Okay? So the office of rabbi during that time was often decided by parents for their sons in Jewish synagogue. And they are not only desired, but they envy that uh, office or that positions because being a rabbi was a highly respected profession. Although rabbis deserve respect for the sacred scripture they explain, it is wrong to give people the honor that only God deserves. Dapat sa Diyos lang yan. Sometimes, uh, kinukuha na nila yung honor. No? We, 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 kaya nga sabi ko, it's not only uh, uh, during uh, uh, our first century Christians. Even today, no? we can see that some pastors, some evangelists, no? uh, mas gusto nila, sila ang na-uplift kesa dun sa daladali nila. No? 
Sila ang nakikilala. Okay? And this is the reason why Jesus confronted the Jewish uh, the, the Jewish leader with this kind of behavior. Sa so, sabi ng ating Panginoon sa Matthew chapter Matthew chapter uh, 23 verse 6 to 11. They love the place of honor at banquet and the most important seats in the synagogue. Okay. So, they love to be greeted with respect in the mass mar- marketplace and to be called rabbi by others. But you are not to be called rabbi for you have one teacher. Sabi natin, Panginoon. And you are all brothers. And do not call anyone on earth father for you have one father. And he is in heaven. Nor are you be called instructor. For you have one instructor. The Messiah. So the greatest among you will be your servant. Ibig sabihin lang. Though, though, though uh, we are called pastor. Kaya ka dito. Though we, are, though we are called pastors. And pantay-pantay pa rin tayo. Uh, hindi kailangan uh, that. that, that, that uh, of course. We, 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 we deserve respect. But uh, everybody deserve respect. But not, uh, not yung, yung, yung para sa ating Panginoon. No? No, we we will not allow you to kiss our feet, to kiss our uh, uh, you know, your hand, no? No? We respect by blessing, no? Nakin pag uh, of course, magmamano tayo kasi yun na yung kultura natin. But not the respect na uh, kasi eto parang tingin ko Dios na to. Uh, na, narinig niyo na yung ganun. Nalapit ako. Parang napilto ang, ang, ang presensya ng Dios na nasa kanya. Parang ganun. I, I hear that before, no? When 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 Pope John, uh, uh, no? Pope John Paul, no? Nag, nagbisita sa sa ating uh, uh, lugar, sabi ni Sinoli de Castro pa, and he is a, a, a influencer. He is he, he is known, no? Vice President, and if he if he talk about something like that, uh, people will 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 talk at like ah, oh, kailangan malapit din ako kasi parang lalapit ako sa Dios, parang ganong ka ano. So, so, of course, of course, the Messiah, our Lord Jesus, is the only source of instruction. Kaya nga, we always, uh, uh, when we go to Bible study, I told them, you have to always go back to your Bible. Not only by hearing from, from your pastors or from your elders. Go back, because this is the Word of God, and it's like uh, you have already a direct instruction. No? Not only from your elders or pastors, but you already, have, you already read it in the Bible. Okay, so God is talking to you. Uh, God, uh, Jesus is giving you instruction when you read instructions. So He is a great rabbi, and God is the only one to be honor. So the honor here are related to the authority claimed by some rabbi, rabbis, okay, or teachers, to be more than God, not simply the nobleness of mind, reputation, or maybe they have a good name, but the authority that is only for God. Parang dating sa kanila, pag sila ang nagsilita, sila na ang Diyos. Now, it is easy to assume that this passage, James chapter 3 verse 1 to 12, simply warn us against excessive speaking. Perhaps, especially against gossip. Yun agad, kapag nabasa mo, akala mo, yun agad ako pinakamilya nun. Pag di mo nabasa itong verse 1, pag inilagpas na itong verse 1, di mo alam kung ano yung tinutukoy talaga ni James. Why do you need to tame your tongue? Lagi agad ang uh, lagi inaano agad natin siya. No? Uh, idinidikit agad natin siya sa pagmumura, pag, pag, pagkakalat ng, ng, ng gasip. Lagi yun agad eh. Uh, marami, pagka marami kayo na narinig, eh, we, they are already talking about that. But, but uh, in verse 1 and 2, ang sabi dito about teaching, It is not the excessive speaking and gossip. Okay? So the, the dangerous use of the tongue depends on the combination of teacher's authority on the one hand and misuse heartful speech of false claim on the other hand. Nakita nyo? Kapag ka ang nagsalita ma-influensya, magkakaroon na ng problema. Uh, this is what James is talking. That's why he start in that. Okay? So imagine if these combinations, yung authority at yung false teaching, 
go burn a church, surely many will or many will go astray. Ito yung maganda. Okay. After all James came with not many of you should become teachers not because you cannot teach but you know that we sabi ni, ni James no, he include himself who teach will be judged strictly so, teachers are no difference they uh, they cannot avoid bully, bullying and spreading gossip and especially being able to teach faulty lessons sabi niya we all stumbled in many ways hindi tayo perfecto no? anyone who is never at fault in what they say is perfect able to keep their whole body in check so prospective teachers should watch what they say because teachers are uh, responsible not only for their own stupidities but also for the mistakes that their students members of the church and each lesson is applied inside the church and outside the church okay. so irresponsible teaching is one of the dangerous use of the tongue so the more mistake is repeated or uh, uh, offensive words if there is more authority the greater the output effect teaching. So, nag-end na. Tama ba yan? Dangerous yours. Ayan. Ayan. Responsible teaching. Ayan. Okay. Meron yata akong na sabihin. Okay. Yan ba yun? Na-miss ko? Hindi, natakay na natin yan. Okay. Na-miss, okay na rin yan. Yan, yeah. alright. Yan, yeah. tapos na tayo dyan. Okay? So, let's go in verse, uh, verse 3, 5. Ito nga. Bro, okay. Okay. Nakiinitan ako. So th- let, let's go in uh, verse 3. No? So y- you understand the, 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 what happened before. No? So what happened is there's a lot of people who's teaching, I don't know, uh, they assume they are teachers, which I told you, no, we, we, are, te- we are all teachers of the word no? when, we, when we become a, a, a Christian. Okay? But James no? talk about uh, this, uh, ano na, no? yung mga maling pagtuturo. No? mga nadadagdag, dinadagdag nila okay? to the gospel and teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. So this, uh, uh, the point of uh, the point of James is we are uh, we need to be responsible in what we are talking no? or, or in what we are sharing. So so the the, the uh, verse three to five hanggang a, sabi to the danger of 
utang can influence many of people's lives. Okay, kaya nga sabi ko, hindi lang, uh, 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 James is not only talking about gossip. He is talking about the teaching that you have, it will influence no, others' lives. So James give an analogy on how this uh, uh, tiny tongue influence many people's lives. So, verse 3, when we put bits into the mouth of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animals or take Take sheep as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are stirred by a very small rudder. Okay? Wherever the pilot wants to go. Okay? Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boast. So James' point of, of comparison is not Ship, no, or the horse, but okay. So imagine if this Bible passage, imagine ha, this Bible passage in Mark chapter 16, verse 17 to 18, okay, teach with authority and interpreted wrong. Okay, let's read. Okay, so sabi dito, and these signs will accompany those who believe. Ayan, so if you believe, dapat meron ang garito. Sabi siya, Mark, no? In my name, they will drive out demons. Kaya ang dami ngayon. Naglipa na. Kailangan mapakita nila, they drive out demons. Kasi, yan ang intindi nila. Pag hindi, baka uh, I am not believing. Uh, I, am not, I am not follower, I am not disciples. I am not uh, Christians. Okay? And they will speak in new tongues. Kaya yung iba, salita ng salita, pag hindi nakapagsalita, magpapaturo. Tinuruan, hindi rin niya alam kung ano yung sinasabi niya pag tinanong mo. Okay? They will pick up snakes with their hands and when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. Now, are you believer? Okay, make all... So, if I have authority and I... Uh, interpret or I interpret it wrong my problema okay they will place their hands on sick people and they will get well kaya yung iba kiniklaim nakakapagpagaling sila just to prove that they are believers so uh, imagine uh, if this teaching if they teach it with authority then we have a problem. And there's, there, there is, ano, no? yung may mga nangyayari, if you search, no? uh, search nyo sa Google, congregation, drink poison. Okay. Papakita sa inyo kung ano yung mga history noon. Huh? Papakita. And there's the result in, uh, I get one, ano, no? the one, one news, no? yung uh, the Tampa Tribune, o, uh, tribute, Tribune of uh, April 10. 1973. So, carried a new story about two preachers of a holiness sect in Newport, Tennessee who drank uh, highly toxic pesticide at a religious service to test their faith. Uh, guess what happened? They died. They are responsible for how they use their time. Sa paggamit nyo ng inyong uh, bibig, ng, sa inyong pananalita, sa ating uh, panahon, sa inyong pagpo-post sa social media. Okay? Especially those who teach the Word of God. 
So he wants them to recognize the great power of tongue, either for, for, for good or for evil, so that they can use it carefully. Kasi kung kahit, kahit maganda yan, kahit, uh, kahit uh, mapangit na sa lahat ng yan, kung, uh, pang, kung influencer kayo, no? lalo na sa social media, yun ang bago ano ngayon, no? influencer, makikita mo. Anong, asa, anong vlogger pag vlog ka? Influencer. Naman. We are all aware of the potential danger and damage of forest fire. Pag nasunog ang forest, malaking ano yan, no? malaking danyo. So consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small part, sabi ni, ni, ni uh, James. All that is needed is a discarded cigarette or yung uh, matchstick na, na, na hindi pinatay or a, a, a campfire that is not completely uh, extinguish and the result thousands of land of beautiful forests can be destroyed it happens no in australia i think no yun yung latest no sa australia yata sunog okay so james stated uh, james states directly that tongue also is a fire okay under control fire is useful out of control, it is frightening and The point is clear, that tongue is deadly, like fire. So, powerful source of evil that taint every part of human being, sabi ni uh, James. A word of evil among the parts of the body. Yan ang word of Word of evil. Nandyan lahat. Pag sinabi kong word, ano, malaki, no? Nandyan lahat. So, if they do not use their tongue with great caution, they are like spiritual arsonists. Ayan. Light, uh, lighting careless fire spread of destruction. So, that is what, uh, what, what James means that the tongue also is uh, uh, fire. So, the dangerous use of this tongue will destroy oneself and the lives of others. James said that a reckless one with a tongue was the first to be defiled. Ikaw ang unang-una ma maapektuhan. It corrupts the whole body, okay. set the whole course of one's life on fire. So, this goes back to James chapter 1 verse 26 na dating uh, diniskas natin or pinreach ko. Those who consider themselves religious, sabi nga ni James, and yet do not keep a tight rein on their tongue, deceive themselves. So unang-unang epekto nang sa iyo. Okay? And their religion is worthless. If you have a careless tongue, it damages your entire life. No? Yung, yung, yung kapag ka nalaman nilang mali yung sinasabi mo, Tanggal agad ang reputasyon mo. Okay. So James identified the ultimate source of problem and it uh, and is itself set on fire by hell, sabi niya. It means that an evil tongue is set on fire by Satan himself. Where hell here is the place of torment. Now, James continued to use an analogy from animal world to compare and show that the dangerous use of the tongue is difficult to control. Verse 7 to 8. Sabi na, all kinds of animal, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind. But no human being can tame the tongue. Okay? 
We've always uh, seen, no? lagi naman natin nakikita, there's dolphins, elephant, no? may mga lion pa, no? tigers, o monkey, train no? uh, in, in, in a circus. Uh, dito dati nagkaroon ng circus, nanood pa kami, tutuwa kami. Ngayon, biro mo, napapa, na, ano yan, nakokontrol nila yung, yung, yung mga ano. Yung mga animals, no? yung mga wild animals, napapaamo nila. Mostly, sa, sa mga kapitbahay, nakita natin na there is a dog being trained. No? However, no man can tame human tongue, sabi ni, uh, ni, 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 ano, no? ni uh, James sa verse 7, uh, uh, verse 8. But no human, but no humans can ever uh, can tame the tongue. So James does not represent it as impossible. Hindi niya sinabing hindi pwede. Okay? But as a extremely difficult. So he does not say that the tongue is untamable. He say that no human being can tame the tongue. So ibig sabihin, we need someone who can tame our tongue. Okay? So only God can tame it. Without divine grace and assistance, it is humanly untamable. Okay? Now, yeah. What's the name? Yeah. So it is a uh, restless evil full of daily poison. Okay. So being restless means there is... Uh, Never a time when it sleep. Uh, hindi nagpapahinga, no? So you must always be on guard against it, sabi ni James. Kailangan lagi niyong babantayan. Every second, nabubuksan niyo ang inyong bibig, sabi ni James, sa sinulatan niya, bantayan niyo. Okay? Being full of de- uh, deadly poison, you should handle it as carefully as you would like a bottle of muriatic acid. No? Pag mayroong muriatic acid dati, pag nasa banyo kami, dati, pag may muriatic acid doon, para bang nakakaano na agad? Kasi konti patak lang nun eh, no? talagang masusunog yung balat. Okay? So we have to be careful about uh, about uh, this uh, tank that, that we, have. we have. We have to guide it. Every second, every time that we have to, to open it, our mouth, We have to make sure what word you will going to bring out. Okay, so the dangerous use of the tongue is inconsistent. It can praise and curse at the same time. Verse 9 hanggang 10 to 10a. Sabi ni, ni James, with the tongue, we praise our Lord and Father and with it, we curse human being. So, uh, and this human being have been made in God's likeness. So, out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. Okay? So, that man's tongue invalidate his Christianity. Hindi pa yung pwede. Na, 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 you praise God and then... Uh, 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 tapos uh, you, 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 you curse people okay? so it, it invalidate your Christianity who at one time presented to worship the perfection of God and exalt all things at and at the other times sa ibang pagkakataon uh, you use curse word and expression on people Sometimes, uh, even good people, you condemn. So James pointed out an extreme contradiction that he no doubt observed. Nakita niya, na-observe niya. That kind of contradiction. Paglabas, ina-crash niya yung mga...
God at one time and then after a while they say bad things about other people so true religion will not admit any contradiction that came out of prevented if man always be consistent dapat if you were phrase phrase yun lang you have to be consistent about the, that that uh, that behavior or the word and james said directly in verse 10b my brother and sister this should not be and he explained huh? this should not be Sincere and uplifting language is the true product of a sanctified heart. Sabi natin, Panginoon, sa Matthew chapter 12, verse 34 to 35. For the mouth speak what the heart is full of. A good man brings good things out of the good store out in him, stored up in him. And an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him. And none who understand Christianity expect to hear cars or lies or boasting and insulting from a true believer's mouth. Kaya nga pag sometimes may mga ano ka, ay Christian din ako dati. Hindi niya sama sabi, eh Christian din ako hanggang ngayon. Bakit? Kasi narinig mo, like, mura ng mura, or kung ano na rin na. Kaya sabi, eh Christian din ako dati. Nagkatin din ako dyan dati. Uh, you, you cannot expect that uh, he will, you will hear that he's still Christian, or he is Christian, he is born again, and he is doing like that. No? And, Matthew uh, verse, uh, uh, chapter 15, verse 18 to 19, sabi dito, but the things that, that comes out of a person's mouth comes from the heart, and this defiles them. For out of the heart comes evil thought, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false testimony, slander. So, galing saan? Sa puso. So the mouth is just an opening that release whatever is in the heart. If there is a raw sewage in the heart, may imbornal dyan, there will be imbornal coming out of the mouth. Eh, yun yung nasa puso mo. Hindi yung lalabas. Yun yung sinabi sa macho. Diba? Sabi ng ating Panginoon. Okay. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? Sabi ni James. Nag-reason siya, di ba? Nag-reason naman niya eh. It cannot be. This should not be. You curse and then you praise. This should not be. And this is the reason. My brother is... intervention. Yan. We are in new generation. This is possible. Tama? Siguro eh, during 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 uh, during James times, wala pa nito. Okay? So wala pang mga people that uh, uh, who manipulate one tree to produce different fruits through ano no, grafting, no? Nagkakat sila tapos naglalagay sila ng ibang sanga. Mamaya-maya yung uh, apple, apple tree meron ng orange fruit. Okay. So, or, or here in the Middle East, wag na tayo lumayo, uh, they desalinate sea water to produce or to get fresh water. Okay? But what we say, it's not a natural. Okay? Likewise, people can deceive himself as Christians. And, and fact proves that more professing Christians can succeeded in suppressing their senses and appetites than in proper rest, uh, restraint of tongue. Kaya nila i-control yung mga bagay sa ibang part ng katawan but cannot cannot control their tongue. They cannot they, they cannot keep, they cannot restrain. So then, depending on divine grace, okay, 
Let us take heed to bless and curse not. And let us aim to be consistent in our words and action. So James' case is that true religion will not stand on both sides. Only one question. Are you true Christians with true salvations by grace through faith? Or a pretending fake professing Christians? A fig tree that bears fruit of olives. Pakaganong kayo. Okay? So the dangerous use of this tongue will identify who you really are. Okay? And that's all for this verse. Or for our passage. Okay? okay? So diligently study the word of God. Kasi baka mamaya nagsasalita ka, you are teaching without studying. Okay? Because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. So we have to be careful. Pastor or elders are not the only person who study the word of God. This is all believers' obligation. Okay, when Jesus, like I said, when Jesus uh, commissioned Matthew chapter 28 verse 19, go and make disciples. He command, he command this to all believers. All of his disciples. Mandate to disciple. Okay? All of his disciples mandate to disciple. Then, remember, that you are responsible to anything so you have to do your part if you have paid like what James narinig mo, mali pa. If you're the Bible, nas, na, 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 ginanahan kang basahin, hindi lang yung isang text, but the whole chapter, tapos may nakita ka, you, you, you read the whole book, mali yata yung sinasabi sa akin. Mali yata yung pagkaka-explain. Uh, this is what I'm telling you. So you have to study diligently by yourself, okay? So you have to do your part. So are you a sound doctrine or you or, or do you have a godly word that are pleasing to God? So Bible study is open to all our members or our visitors. No? Uh, nagtataka nga ako eh. Uh, we, we can ano eh, no? we can we can reason out na before. We can reason out tayo tayo pa rin, tayo tayo lang sa Bible study natin. Kasi we go to one place eh. Eh kasi po yung inaaya ko, uh, late na daw dadating, kasi po yung inaaya ko, uh, medyo nalatak na daw, kasi po yung inaaya ko, malayo pa, hindi namin masusundo. Pag, uh, si, pag sinundo ko, do, eh online na tayo ngayon eh. Tayo-tayo pa rin. Minsan nababawasan pa. <laughs> Ay! Nako, sini ko sa kasi sister wing lang inabutan ko unang bisita ko. <laughs> Nakabisita nga to. Ha? Pag bisita ko, Hindi ko si uh, Sister Wing. Uh, hindi, umabol naman si Brother Jojo. Okay. Ah, anong reason? Ah, ayaw niyo mag-aral? Uh, how you will get? Uh, uh, pan pan tayo matututo? No? We all also need help from others. No? That, that's why I, I, I told them, I still enjoy uh, ano, no, yung, uh, uh, yung attending Bible study kahit, kahit tayo-tayo na. Ano, because I learn more. I learn more. Hindi nyo ba alam na kapag tayo nag-uusap-usap, natututo. Kapag ka meron akong, uh, meron, may nagtanong, very simple questions, ba't hindi ko pa nakita yun? No? Napaka-very elementary questions, ba't hindi ko na ano yun? I, at that time, I will I will search my own. This is how I, 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 ano, no? I, uh, I, I try to uh, no, study. So if you think you cannot handle to disciple, you can invite them. Invite mo siya. 
na online na nga lang, di pa ma-invite. Okay? But do not be a stagnant Christian. You need to grow spiritually. Grow from His Word. Diligently study the Word of God. Amen? Okay, let's go to uh, pangalawa. Napakadaming application, pero namili lang ako ng konti. Sabi sa James chapter 3, verse 8. So we we, uh, we we will apply this uh, uh, text. Discipline your tongue by changing your heart. Okay? But no human being can tame the tongue. Okay? When the Holy Spirit control your heart on a daily basis, okay, over time, the fruit of the Spirit will appear. Okay? So, you have to exercise this daily. This includes love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, which all relates to control of the tongue. So the control is terrible. Uh, the con- to control this terrible tongue, you must daily walk in the spirit. Without the help of God, you cannot. Okay? Taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Ultimately, an evil tongue is the tools of an evil heart. For the mouth speak what the heart is full of. Sabi na ating Panginoon. Kung ano yun ang dyan. So yan lang ang ano, yan lang ang, na, yan lang ang, uh, ang uh, m- nag- lumalabas sa ating bibig yung kung ano yung nasa ating mga puso. Even if you control your tongue, you often have a heart problem when not changing it. Okay? If you want to tame the terrible tongue, the place to start is with your heart. You have a problem. Ibig sabihin mo, uh, medyo daganyan ka? Imagine if we have a direct line from mind to tongue, yung hindi mo na kailangang ilabas, boom, kung ano nasa isip mo, bigla lumalabas sa bibig mo, boom, how are you? You will answer, I'm fine, thank you. Pero sa isip mo, boring. So, imagine. Okay, so, third application. First, not bless more. Okay, James chapter 3, verse 10. Out of the same mouth comes praise and cursing. My brother and sister, this should not be. Most Christians will turn away from sin such as uh, sexual immorality, idolatry, witchcraft, selfish uh, uh, ambition, theft, or murder as a satanic evil. Yet, we tolerate gossip, slander, uh, deception, telling half-truth, huh? sarcastic put-down, no? nanlalait, nanlalait, ayan. Kalbo. Hindi ah. Hindi ah. Hindi pa lalait yun. Sabi nga. Bald is sexy. Ah, kaya ayoko nang magpabald. <laughs> okay. So James say that all such sins have their origin in the pit of hell. Okay. As a believer in Christ, you must confront these sins in yourself. Even the gossip. Even slandering. No, hindi lang yung iiwasan ko yung idolatry, iiwasan ko yung yung uh, yung uh, mga bagay na sexual immorality but you cannot hindi niyo kayang iwasan yung pagsasalita sa ibang tao. So you have to confront this sin in yourself and you must be bold enough to confront others. Okay? So hindi ko na habaan ang application natin. It's very simple, diligently study the word of God, discipline your tongue by changing your heart and bless more curse not curse not bless more okay so let's conclude ayan the dangerous use of tongue has a strong and often negative impact on life not only on the individual but on the entire world no pag kayo nagsalita lalo na influencer kayo problema so all as christian james suggested that we be vigilant on the teaching we have received. Not only what we receive, what we share also. So we have to make sure that we consult the very authority of the scripture, which is God directly talking to us. 
If we consult the scripture, God is already directly talking to us. So seek guidance and wisdom from Him alone. That way, we will be instrumental and confident. Ah? Nakita niyo kung paano ko kinunclude? Bible study namin to. Okay? In that way, we will be instrumental and confident. Hindi yung nagsagot nun. Si Ate Julie yata. Okay? That we can share the spiritual blessing we have received. Natama. No? Person from God. Kasi I consult the Bible, not the pastor, not the elders. Okay? So teaching or sharing the word from God is married to responsibility. The very word you say can ignite like uh, can it ignite like a fire that burns the light of the listener either in a positive or a negative direction. Eh, kung maganda yung sinasabi mo, kung tunay yung totoo sinasabi mo, you can encourage people in a, in a positive direction. So we are not perfect. We have, we, we, have, uh, uh, we have all stumbled, but the word of God is perfect. Okay? True and righteous. So the message is simple. Diligently study the word that you will teach or share. So word must please God, not impress other people. Okay? So we can destroy our reputation and our contribution to other people with a few ill-chosen words. Therefore, we need to handle words both sound doctrine and godly. So the tongue is a small part of the human body but has a huge influence on life. It can encourage or destroy people's life. Okay? When an invalid word is spoken and heard, it cannot be retrieved. It, uh, its effect is to certainly run this destructive course. Although James compared the tongue by analogy to controlling animals that cannot be done with the tongue, he did not conclude that the tongue cannot be tamed. It is extremely difficult for human beings to control the tongue, and this is possible only with God's help. Those who say they cannot control their tongue have a problem with their spiritual life. Or at first, don't really have faith. Kasi kung Christian kayo, sabi niyo born again kayo, it means you have the Holy Spirit in your life and you can control your tongue with the help of God. Since James reiterate that this should not be, we cannot stand in both sides. Either we are Christians or not. That's the conclusion. We cannot praise God and curse people. There should be fruit of the Holy Spirit flowing from our heart to the opening of our mouth. With this, okay, we will be identified. With this, we will validate our faith. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, to, add, to God belongs all glory. Amen. Amen. So, let us uh, all pray. Uh, salamat, Panginoon, sa natapos naming uh, pakikinig ng inyong salita. Nawa ang mga salita mo, Panginoon, ay uh, inourish ang, uh, ang aming spiritual life and uh, we walk in your uh, in your words, Father. Uh, let the Holy Spirit uh, guide us to use your word in our everyday life. All these things we pray in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. beginning one with God the Lord most high your hidden glory in creation now revealed in you are Christ 
What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. The name it is. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ. This. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. What a powerful name it is, what a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a powerful, what a powerful name it is, nothing goes what a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. That could not hold you, the veil so big for you, the silence, the bones of sin and pray. The heavens are roaring, the praise of your glory. of defeat the resurrected king is resurrecting me in your name I come alive to declare the victory the resurrected king is resurrecting me is the bones of sin and pray. The heavens are roaring, the praise of your glory, for you will raise to life again. You have no
powerful name it is Nothing compares to this What a powerful name it is The name of Jesus What a powerful name it is The name of Jesus Jesus Let us uh, all uh, let, let us close our uh, worshiping service and prayer. Okay. I hope we, uh, we we learn from the word of God and let us uh, let us ask the Holy Spirit that the spiritual blessing that we uh, receive for today will uh, nourish our life, our spiritual life, and grow in that word. Uh, uh, apply this in our daily life that, that uh, uh, diligently studying the word of God and changing our heart uh, daily uh, walking in the spirit in our daily life let's, let's bring the Holy Spirit with us to guide us so we can manifest the, the, the fruit of the Spirit from our heart, uh, our heart so that it will come out to our mouth also. And let's uh, change that attitude of uh, uh, cursing others but uh, become consistent in uh, praising our, our God. And uh, saying good things to all our our uh, brethren and even outsiders. Okay, let's pray. Uh, our heavenly Father, we thank you for your for your word for the word that we hear today. We ask the Holy Spirit to, 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 to change our heart so we can we can uh, we can talk nicely. We can preach God consistently and avoid cursing others and help us father to, to, to study diligently your word when, when we hear anything any teaching any doctrines let us uh, consult your your uh, word your holy scriptures so we can we can learn and directly get the message from you aside from what we what we uh, heard and also help us also to, to, to clean our heart, to guard our heart. So whatever comes out from our mouth will be true and highly uh, praising you only, our God. Salamat Panginoon sa natapos namin at uh, sa mga sa buhay ng mga kapatid namin na nandito. Gayun din yung mga, mga naka-online na nanonood. We bless them also and bless all the light that is in here. May the God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May you, your full spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Amen. Amen.